Dr. Dennis Burke, and I want to speak to you today about the great law of success. You know, in our universe, we have many, many laws, and when you comply and get in harmony with the laws, they uh, can enable you to succeed on many different levels. Now, basically, how the law of success works is this, is that you will be ingratiated with success. You will have abundance of success on all levels of your life, whether it's financially or otherwise. However, you have to first contribute to the success of others. So therefore, the measurement of your own success will be in proportion to how much uh, you've helped others to become successful. Now, in the great work of life, in the great scheme of things, Success is often a misunderstanding because people think that because you have an abundance of money, that you have lots of money, that you're successful. But in reality, it's the reverse. It's only when you're first successful that then you become financially free. So again, success is a measure of giving to others. Success is not the result of money. Money is the result of success. And see, the question comes about which is more vital, failure or success, kind of chicken or egg, which comes first? Well, the truth is this, is that everybody on the planet that has succeeded to any great level at all have had forced to fail many, many times. We've got numerous examples of well-known people that have failed over and over and over again. Henry Ford, for example, was one man that failed many, many times. Most people don't know that he was a failed uh, jeweler uh, making watches uh, up through the age of 40. And then he beca uh, became the first to revolutionize the automotive industry on the planet. Um, in order to have electric lights, you know, we, Thomas uh, uh, Edison had failed something like a thousand times before on that one final try he made it happen. You see, a lot of people are afraid to fail and the truth about failure is, is that it's an opportunity to start again and learn more and to do it better the next time. But failure in itself is necessary in order to succeed. See, I have a friend, his name is Abe Wilson. And Abe was a very successful man in business. But he told me that it took him many years to perfect some of the concepts that he had. And he was a man who had about 14 different patents with the United States government. And he said that in order to prove out his theory, theories and his ideas and to ultimately get the application to the patent office so he could get these patents. He totally failed many, many times, but ultimately on that one huge try where he uh, made the biggest difference, he was able to succeed. So folks, I just want you to understand that failure is a, pred is a pred predicate to success and that you will fail many times or you welcome failure in order to succeed. This is your moment of wisdom. 